So what I want to tackle in this video tutorial is how to create a form redirect code within Squarespace. Now this specific code is the code that started my relationship with Devin Stank. I had the issue of wanting to redirect my users to PDFs and other websites like you can with lead pages and I just couldn't get Squarespace to work for me. He created this code and I use it almost every single week. So I'm going to show you how to use it, and if you want the code for free, you can go to LaShondaBrown.com, get access to the VIP vault, and the link is in there for you. I'm also going to be showing other Squarespace tutorials, and if you see a code that you like and it's a paid code, you can use my code BBA20 to get 20% off Devin Stank's code shop. So without further ado, let's go ahead and hop in. So the first thing you want to do is just hover to add a form block. You'll find the forms underneath summary. So you'll see summary, more, there's your form. Drop in your form, you want to name your form, and you want to choose the fields that you want to keep and the order in which you want them to appear. So I'm going to remove subject and message. If you wanted to change the order, you can just move them in this way, but I'm going to leave them as they are. Also, you can just type in the name of your form here. Now your default storage is going to be email. You can change that to Google Drive or MailChimp. If you choose Google Drive, you really wanna drop it into a spreadsheet and connect it to your email marketing system. Now under advanced, you can rename the label so it doesn't have to say submit. And this is where the magic is going to happen. Here is your box where you're going to type in your code. So if you like this code, like I said again, you can go to LaShondaBrown.com, get access to the VIP vault, and you can just copy and paste just like I did. So you'll copy and paste your code in here, and as you can see, here is your redirect URL. So right now, it is redirecting people to Google.com, but just so I can show you how this can work for you, we're going to have it redirect to LaShondaBrown.com, and we're going to apply the changes. and literally that's it. So when you want to redirect to a website, that's all you need to do. Paste that code in into the HTML section of your form block and it will redirect after someone types in their name and email address. But one of the fun things that you see happen all the time with lead pages is you type in your name and email and you get access to a PDF. So this might be a convoluted way to do this, but it's the way that I tend to do it all the time. And I can get through the steps pretty quickly. Now what I tend to do if I'm gonna use the form redirect code as a delivery system, is I just hover here and I add a button. Now what I do is I click on the click through URL, and then I upload the file that I want to deliver. So I've got some existing files in here, so I can click on this folder and it'll show those to me. But I could also add a file here, so you can upload your PDF in that way. So I'll go ahead and click on here, we'll type in that, and we will apply the changes. And so that is going to give me my link to my PDF. Now again, I know this is convoluted, forgive me, but this is what I do. So then I open up an incognito window. I'm not even kidding. And I go to my website where that button was placed. And there's my learn more button and I'm gonna click on that button and that is going to give me the link to that PDF within Squarespace itself. So at the top, when you go to it in an incognito window, it'll give you the direct full link to your PDF. And then I'm just gonna copy it and close that window out. Now if I go back into Squarespace, I hover on my form, and I go back to Advanced, instead of me saying go to LaShondaBrown.com, I am going to change that link to my handy dandy PDF link. Now I have used this as a shortcut to being a file delivery system for different opt-ins when I scope on Periscope. So there is my full link, as you can see, the Squarespace link for that PDF, and I'm going to apply it. 
now I can get rid of the button because I actually don't need it anymore. So the last thing we're going to do is go ahead and test this out. And I would recommend test your forms before you drive traffic to them. So again, we're going to do that, do that incognito window. We still have the form on my website homepage for my marketing company. We're going to type in name and email address. Submit. Ta-da! Now I've got that person on my list and I've also delivered a PDF. So that's how I like to use the form redirect code. You can also use that to send people to links. So when I give people access to my VIP vault, they're going to type in their name and email address and they'll be redirected to a password protected page. So I'm going to go ahead and get that set up and show you how that can work. All right, now I've got things set up to show you how you can use a form redirect code on a cover page. Now a cover page within Squarespace is like your landing page option within a website like Lead Pages. And I use this to capture leads all the time from social media. So right now my cover page is actually the home page of my website. So you can either click to enter my site and check out my blog or you can sign up for my VIP vault. Now once I get everything wired up, the VIP vault will be open for people to get access to. So I am using the built-in custom form within the Squarespace cover page. So as you can see, within the cover page, there is the option for a form button. And if I go back, here are the options for a cover page. And to get to the forms, you'll just click under Action. And here is your option to create a form. So sign up for the VIP vault is the name of the button and the name of the form. I'm going to click edit form and again I've got that handy dandy code so when I go to advanced all I need to do is scroll down copy that code on in and this time what I want to do is I actually want to provide access to this password protected page so I'm going to change the text for www.google.com to the link to the VIP vault and then I'm going to save it. Now, what happens with my email marketing system is it will redirect them to the password protected page and the password will be delivered to them in an email. So that is all through a sequence that I have set up with a Google spreadsheet and Zapier connected to ConvertKit. So now that that's saved, I can show you guys how that works and we're gonna go to an incognito window. Once again, I like to test stuff out before I drive traffic to it. So if I go to LaShondaBrown.com and I click on sign up for the VIP vault, the form pops up. I just type in my name, my email address, and hit submit. It automatically redirects me. Then I can type in the password, which for the example will be holla, and then I'll hit the arrow. And boom, here is your access to the VIP vault where resources will live when I get that bar. Check back March 1st. So that is just an example of how you can use the form redirect code using a cover page or just using a normal page on your website. It turns Squarespace forms into super duper call to actions when you have that connected to it. So I will tell you if you're using forms and you are not using this redirect code, you're really, really missing out on some valuable conversions because it takes a lot of steps out of the process. So like I said, again, you can go to LaShondaBrown.com. You can sign up to be a part of my VIP vault and I will give you the code that I use in this video. You can also use the code BBA20 to go to Devin Stinks Code Shop to purchase any paid code for 20% off using my code. So thanks again for watching. If you haven't subscribed to Bootstrap Biz Advice, I would encourage you to do that because I teach you how to grow your biz without breaking the bank. Until next time, ta-ta for now. I'll see you soon.